Hey guys, it's me Lunar, welcome back to another video for Red Dead Redemption 2. In today's one, a new leaked document from Trusted Reviews reveals some potential new spoilers for the game, including similar multiplayer features to both GTA Online and PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds, plus a ton of new details on the game. We'll be going over that. First though, if you enjoy, hit the like button, it helps me out a lot. Now, Trusted Reviews yesterday released some info for Red Dead Redemption 2, saying they had some potential leaked info for the game for a while now, but it wasn't until Rockstar released their new release date and some new images for the game that they realised some of the info they had was the same. And that was two images, one of Arthur Morgan and one of Dutch Vanderlind, which until Rockstar released them last week were unseen, but the images were almost the same. So it does show whoever leaked these does know something. Anyway, here is all the info that they claim about the game in those leaked documents. Red Dead Redemption 2 online components will feature Battle Royale, Revive and Survive, and Money Grab modes. Battle Royale, it doesn't go into specifics, but just how close it could be to, say, PUBG in terms of gameplay, we don't really know, but the core of a Battle Royale game is the same. Survival of the fittest, and whatever the mode is going to be, I'm sure it will be a lot of fun. This was kind of expected with the success of both Fortnite and Battlegrounds, E3 this year is going to be an explosion of Battle Royales. We already expect to see it in upcoming FPS games like Battlefield and Red Dead, even the next GTA, they're all going to capitalise on the popularity for sure as well. Speaking of FPS, Red Dead is going to also have for the first time a first person mode for both single player and online modes. Again, it doesn't go into much detail, but that's some really exciting news because a lot of us prefer to play games in first person, especially if we're going to be playing a battle royale mode, we would much rather play an FPS version than a third person one. Revive and Survive pits two teams against each other as they try and stay alive. You'll have a limited amount of time to revive your teammates before they're eliminated. Finally, Money Grab features two teams fighting to procure bags of money in a central location. You're expected to collect and return them to your base as quickly as possible. The leaked info also claims a whole lot of other stuff other than just the gameplay modes for the actual online mode. Much like GTA Online, players will be free to explore the open world, although it will supposedly provide far more in-depth than Rockstar's previous online efforts for Red Dead. For example, NPCs will decorate storefronts with amenities and pack things away at night, so that just provides overall immersion for the game. Frequent rewards will be handed out to players for completing tasks. These might range from travelling a certain distance to murdering an enemy using a bow from 100 metres away. Horsemanship challenges can be completed to increase your rider rank, while dozens of different fish can be captured across the world. Plants and herbs can be gathered for crafting purposes, with the document listing types including clamshell, ghost, night scented, rat tail and spider orchids. You also get actual fishing in the game, which seems to be actually in-depth, with a selection of baits and tackles available for purchase, you can even buy a can of worms. So that's really cool that they're adding in fishing, because I don't know about you guys, but I like fishing in games, even back when I used to fish in Zelda on the Nintendo 64. Deadeye makes a return with enhanced abilities including tracking bounties through fields and detecting which fish and animals are available nearby. It will feature bounty hunting quests, treasure hunts and adventures with a mysterious stranger. Apartments from GTA Online will return in the form of tents which can be owned and upgraded by players. These are purchased in the open world and come in a variety of different themes. Online play will include access to many shops and NPCs which can provide the player with equipment and missions. Free events can also be organised outside of standard playlists like spontaneous treasure hunts and death matches and a new companion app will go with this to work in conjunction with the online mode. Throughout the open world you'll discover several locations including Armadillo and Ridgewood. These are populated with various NPCs including general store owners, gunsmiths and undertakers. You can also partake in gambling if you're hoping to risk it all for financial gain. A slums market will apparently be a method of procuring equipment at a reduced price. You can expect NPCs to be navigating these places in accordance with Red Dead Redemption 2's day and night cycle. Vehicles in the game will include minecarts, handcarts and horse-drawn carriages. These come in a different variants such as armoured and fast ones, and there are hints as well at working railways, and let's be honest, open world games are far better with railways. Specific player actions during campaign missions will lead to events unfolding differently depending on which characters you interact with. This could lead to different missions, outcomes, objectives and dialogues depending on how you behave morally in each playthrough. Just like most Rockstar titles, a wanted level will be displayed at the top of the screen and can increase or decrease depending on how the player acts. Assaulting pedestrians for example is considered a low level crime, while holding up a saloon and murdering everyone will be taken more serious. 
So guys, it seems that the Red Dead Redemption 2 is turning out to be a hugely ambitious game. It takes the core of Red Dead and implements elements from GTA, and why would it may? GTA Online is still one of the most successful things ever, and new popular games like Battlegrounds, which has changed the way that we play shooter games with other players. And this game looks like it's going to be absolutely amazing. So I hope all of this leaked info turns out to be true, and I cannot wait to play Red Dead this October when it does release. But guys, that is it for this video. Let me know in the comments if you like the sound of all these new gameplay features, and what you think of a Battle Royale mode, for the upcoming Red Dead game. Anyway, as always, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to leave a like below, guys. The support is greatly appreciated on the channel, so that would be really awesome. Subscribe if you're new around for similar videos to this one, and I will catch you guys next time with a brand new video. Peace out.